forthcoming with uh, the initiative to write off all the debt? Yeah, I would like to emphasize that microcredit cannot be isolated from other elements of development. Education, improved healthcare services, and the other social service elements that bind a community together are also critical elements for human development. The creation of our new agency will strengthen the capacity to operate in a more strategic way and to help ensure integration of all these elements and help create a virtuous circle of self-reliance. So we are talking of, about you know, millions of poor that can make... We are diversifying the types of products that are now available in terms of insurance, business loans, working on educational loans, working on culturally related activities. And uh, in a sense, we're taking what was not expected, which is a financial product, and making it available not just to the rich, but to the poor who need it most. It's easy to forget that the poor are as entrepreneurial and financially responsible as any other group. In their billions, bridging cultures, castes and continents, they may be short of money, but they never run out of industry or, given opportunities, hope. Trust in people. Trust in people. It's, it's an extraordinary phenomenon of development that the most powerful force is people changing their own environment. What they need, in, in many cases, is the wherewithal to change. But the, the will to change, very often the capacity to change well, because they live in their contexts, that's an extraordinarily powerful force. For decades, the Aga Khan Development Network has been releasing the enormous potential of the poor to enable their rise out of poverty. <laughs> this year, it aims to focus that experience and multiply its impact with a new venture, the Aga Khan Agency for Microfinance. Microfinance starts with making small loans to people who've had to work too hard at surviving to think about improving their lot who live beyond the reach and outside the target areas of conventional banks. AKDN agencies have found microcredit a good way to help people, families, even whole communities out of the poverty trap. Here are some studies from the AKDN's casebook. This is a Fatemi design and this is the Moroccan design. In the Cairo slum, Mohamed Haini borrowed $160 to develop his lamp and lantern business. Since then, he's taken out two more loans. He's never missed a payment. Now he employs four people. Here's how $120, the price of an evening out in the West, changed the lives of a family in the mountains of northern Kyrgyzstan. Mountain travelers like to buy mare's milk. If you can have your own horse, you can make some money. One man borrowed $120 for a mare. The loan came with some business training. He paid off the loan with enough left over to buy another horse, two sheep and two goats. He now sends his children to university. Women have proven to be a cornerstone of microfinance. In poor countries, a sewing machine can provide a step up into small-time capitalism. In Pakistan, for instance, one young divorcee with three young children has turned a series of loans into a six-fold increase in income, plus better housing, hygiene and schooling. Tiny injections of capital for anything from a patch of land to a fishing boat can bring enormous profits in human terms. The AKDN has centralized them under the Aga Khan Agency for Microfinance. Here's one branch, the new first microfinance bank of Tajikistan. First and foremost, it is an institution, not a project, not a program, but a permanent establishment in one of the most important sectors in any nation's economy, the banking sector. Like sister microbanks in Pakistan and Afghanistan, it will establish outposts across the country and reach out further into remote areas.
A bank like our bank uh, does not wait for clients to come to branches. In fact, forest buildings do not have much importance. We go to our clientele, we visit the villages, we sit down with uh, the people in the villages and we develop these projects with them. Like these beneficiaries of microcredit in Kyrgyzstan, clients of the new bank will not be just left to sink or swim, they'll get coaching in how to run a business. Remembering the terrible vulnerability of the poor, the agency also will provide insurance against illness and failed crops and other misfortunes that conspire to keep the poor in poverty. It will branch out into other services, including housing loans, and loans to replace a family's income from working children so that the young may invest in their work in education towards a better life. Don't tell these people microfinance is a burden. To them it's like a seed to grow something good.